Paul says, God got a hold of me, and I want to get a hold of the reason he got a hold of me. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now, I know Paul didn't know about football, but it sure is a picture to me of the long bomb. Ever seen the dying minutes of the game and the team is just a few points behind? And they send one of these fellows who can run like a deer down the sidelines and he goes for all he's worth. And that quarterback, I don't know how they do it, they rear back and they throw that thing like it's got a rocket on its tail. And that ball, and I think, nobody can be down that far. Nobody can catch this thing. It's way over his head. But then they show, and as that ball's coming down, you see that fellow, and every sinew, every muscle, every bone. I mean, he doesn't care what the crowd's thinking about. He doesn't care about those 400-pound refrigerators that are coming at him. He's got one thing in mind. He wants to make contact between the tips of his fingers and that pigskin. And he stretches, and you see some of them throw themselves as far as they can and they catch that thing on the tip of their fingernail. I think that's the picture here. Paul's not sitting in an armchair thinking, I wonder what the will of God is for me here. Sure, it'd be nice to know. He is stretching every sinew. He is calling every resource he has and stretching out as far as he can to lay hold of the prize and it doesn't matter what the crowd thinks. And it doesn't matter what the opposition thinks. It doesn't matter about those who are trying to stop him from doing it. He is going to apply himself with everything he has to lay hold of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Our citizenship's in heaven. We don't belong down here. We're just on our way home. This isn't home. We don't belong here. These aren't the pleasures of life. The things of this world aren't worth living for, he says. Go after the prize of Christ. Don't worry about the crowd. Don't worry about the enemy. Reach out for the prize. Because our life is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior.